I'm trying to wake up, get ends with my dues. Don't cost the family a word for a suit. They don't know the outcome with me in the booth. Got attitudes that I could tap into. Might be the hero when help is your crew. Might be the villain that split you in two. That's all depending on what you pursue. I'm a quick flash, give you whiplash. You a slow nigga, it's a mismatch. You an ex nigga, you don't get checks. And that's big facts. How you figure that? Wait your turn, fuck who going first. I got the world to earn, and even more to learn. Why you so concerned? I roll forest fire, nigga, let it burn. Forest fire, nigga, let it burn.
Okay, so the makeup is done. Uh, I did my lashes. Um, and they're all just the same length. I don't really care for the cat eye look on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Um, so it's just not something that I like strive to achieve. So I just wanted to do all the same length for my lashes and I feel like it looks good. The base is sitting. Everything else looks good in my opinion. The blush is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, the blush is a lot, but I don't give a fuck. That is too tall for me. <laughs> there we go i need to make a tea so i already had breakfast my mom bought me a mcgriddle actually which is so funny because my mom used to buy us mcgriddles all the time whenever we would like go on a road trip or do like literally anything as a family like that required us to be up early she would always go to mcdonald's and get mcgriddles I haven't had the heart to tell my mom I don't really like McGriddles anymore. <laughs> I would prefer a biscuit just because I feel like McGriddles, like, they have the, like, syrup inside the, the little pancake. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> and I just, like, I just don't like that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, as a kid, it was, like, really fun, but now as an adult, it's just, like, it's way too fucking sweet. And so... But I don't have the heart to tell my mom that I don't like what she's literally make like she literally bought me. Um, so I didn't say anything, but and I ate it. But I don't really like it. I don't know why I'm in the kitchen, because it's like I'm hungry low-key. Even though I literally ate that McGriddle an hour ago. But there ain't no food in this house. So I don't even know why I'm in here. Like for real. I need to go out to get something to eat. So, the things that we are going to do today, let's be honest, I have a lot to do, okay? Let me, let me set y'all down. Let me, let me set y'all down. We can be in the kitchen together, because I'm going to be honest, I have a lot to do. So, I am a stay-at-home daughter. I love staying at home. I do the dishes. I sweep the floors. I, you know, keep the house in order. Whatever. But I just feel like my family dynamic is a lot. Um, <laughs> my mom and my sister like love to fight, my little sister. Um, and it's just a lot for me. And so while the summer was relaxing in the sense that like I didn't have to work, it was stressful in the sense that like I just feel like I'm in a hostile environment because my mom and my sister don't get along. And it's just like, oh my God. I don't like being in the middle. <laughs> and so, because my mom and my sister have been fighting a lot, it's just been putting me in the middle a lot. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get a job. My friend was like, girl, you need to get a job, move the fuck out. And so, cause I was planning to stay with my mom for like a year. I didn't tell my mom that, but <laughs> that was my plan. But just the way my family dynamic has changed since I was in high school versus now is just so different. And it's just like, I cannot deal with this. And so I got a job. <laughs> Like I said, the biggest thing that college taught me was how to make connections. So basically, how I got the job that I'm moving to next week is my friend was at a program with another friend of ours in Japan. And that other friend told my friend about... Okay, let me use names because this is going to get confusing. So T is my friend. My friend, like my twin them, um, like we locked in. We were like besties in college, basically. Like we were, we were the college besties. Um, and she went to Japan for a summer program. And there she met another friend of ours, S, who, um, who we both went to college with our freshman year but s had to transfer out after the pandemic for extra reasons and so s lives in new jersey t lives in the dmv area and i live in north carolina and so s is actually really good friends with my older sister and so they see each other a lot because my sister lives in new york s lives in new jersey it works out uh but i haven't seen any of my friends since i graduated so i was like fine you know I'm trying to keep up with my friends, call them, whatever. So while 
T was in Japan, we talked, whatever. And then after she came home from Japan, she was like, oh, like there's this opportunity that S told me about, but I don't really know if I wanna do it, but I wanted to see if you wanted to do it. Cause it's like a res life position and I was an RA for like three years. And so honestly, this job, I'm really excited for it, but it's taken a really long time to get to like me about to move because it's October. I started applying for this shit beginning of September. I've had this job like they said yes to me a month ago. They offered me this job a month ago, but because the job is through AmeriCorps, and they have to do all these like background check stuff like it's been taking it's taking them a month to get my background check stuff like done and it's just like because they're incompetent i'm sorry but like the people who work at americorps y'all are incompetent what can i say because it took them a week to figure out that the reason i wasn't even getting the email to do the background check is because they had a payment issue on their end how did i take you a week to figure out what what, 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 what was you doing in that week like it was just ugh, bro, whatever it's been a process it's like when i got accepted for the job i was so excited and i was expecting to be there by october baby it's october 12th it's actually t's birthday today uh shout out to you baby girl happy birthday i just exited her uh but it's october 12th why am i still here in my mother's house on October 12th when I got the job in September like it was just like so annoying like the process has just been really not my favorite wait give me one second because I'm short but I'm not that goddamn short God damn. I'm moving to Jersey I've never been to New Jersey I've never been north of North Carolina like I've been to California I've gone west I've been you know to south carolina <laughs> I've, i lived in georgia but i've never been like to north to new york i've never been to the northeast and so i'm low-key scared especially because it's october so i know it's gonna be fucking cold and i'm just really not prepared for that but also like oh i gotta pack all my shit this is all we have so far like, it's actually very neatly packed on this side, but that's my knee brace. Don't worry about that. But this side is a mess, and then I need to figure out what I'm putting in storage and what I'm taking with me. So today I want to make sure, because I get two checked bags. Um, the company that I'm working for paid for my flight, obviously um so i told them i needed two sh two checked bags and a carry-on but when i fly i usually fly southwest and you get two checked bags and they can be 50 pounds they booked me a flight on frontier wide away limit 40 pounds so now i have 20 pounds less than what i thought i had because that's 10 pounds per bag that has to be that's like less than what i thought I have to pack 10 pounds less per bag than what I was originally planning. So, how we're gonna make that shake, I literally have no idea. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's the next day. Sorry. Um, yesterday, I just got mad. Like, I don't know, I just did it. I started feeling like unwell. It's literally like 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I started not feeling well, and so I barely got any packing done. Um, I just kind of added to what was already here, but I didn't add, I didn't like organize or do anything like that. I started feeling sick after yesterday like after like the morning time and then i had to pick my little sister up from work i'm sorry i don't really i'm done my hair today listen i'm making tea um but i had to pick my little sister up from work and then we kind of just started like running errands until kind of late last night and we was just out and about and i was just trying to get everything done um like low-key quickly um because like I said, we were out late last night. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of 
how my day ended. Ooh, I love hot tea. I think I'm actually gonna take an edible. Usually when I'm not feeling good, I kind of try to wake and bake. One, because baking <laughs> gives me good, like, like it produces a lot of mucus. And so then I'm able to, like, kind of cough up whatever's stuck up in there. But I don't have any flour right now. So, oh, here they are. But yeah, I just kind of look you want to be high because I don't feel good. It's scary out here with these children freaking consuming nicotine like oh my god i feel like i low-key feel like this is like how like people like you know when smoking was like a really big thing like before like the 60s i feel like i'm a concerned individual in like the 60s like because before that time period everyone was like yeah smoke like it doesn't matter and then I started learning that's when he gives you cancer and so they're like oh fuck like but it was a process to like get cigarettes out of like our normal everyday society and it still hasn't even happened in like europe and the uk and stuff like that and so to, to have us be this close like i don't remember i remember people like thinking smoking was so nasty like growing up like thinking people thinking that smoking was so nasty oh you smoke or your parents smoke like that's so disgusting blah, 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 blah. and now it's like <laughs> everybody i know including me has smoked at least one cigarette in their life everybody i know including me has you know just like opened up the gate to the possibility of like drugs which i think is just so like wow because like i just i don't know like i grew up in atlanta like the dare program was a thing there i think it stands for ah, um i think it stands for oh wait i, re I feel like i remember the song it was like d i won't do drugs a won't have an attitude like girl bye and then it was like R, I will respect myself, and then E, I will educate me. And it was just like, that shit stuck in my head. But as much as it stuck in my head, I've still done a little drugs by way. Ooh, it's freaking hot. And it's like burning my throat, but it's like in the best way possible. I'm really trying to debate if I want to sit and keep watching this YouTube video. Or if I want to make breakfast, but if I'm going to be mad real. I feel like every time I make breakfast, I just make myself nauseous. <laughs> like, very much. I don't know. I don't have an appetite when I wake up. So anytime I make breakfast, I either like wind up not eating all of it. Or I like try to force feed myself to eat all of it. And I'm nauseous. So... <laughs> Well, I feel like y'all can't hear me because it's really windy outside, but <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. First of all, sorry for the jump scare, 
we're in New Jersey. I know the last time I talked to you guys, I was in um, North Carolina, <laughs> but we we packed, we made it here. We're here, we're walking, we're going to Five Below today. I'll catch everyone up later on when I'm not literally panting for breath fucking walking. But <laughs> today has been a fucking adventure because I'm an idiot. No, let me not say that I'm an idiot, but let me also just preface this by saying that like, <laughs> there's only so much Google can tell you, right? So let's start with when I first studied abroad and like took buses in London. It's my first time ever like relying on public transportation. I'd always had a car, a way to get places pretty easily. <laughs> and so today I was like, I'm gonna learn the bus system because it was $11 to get to Target yesterday through Uber. And I'm like, the bus is $1.60. So I need to learn how to use this thing. And also the bus stop, I kid you not, is like right outside my room or like my building. So I was like, I can figure this out. So I'm on the bus. I get I, I get on the bus. Um, <laughs> and I tell the lady, I'm like, yeah, I'm not from here. Cause like, I thought you could just tap and pay. Cause that's what Google told me. But she was like, girl, that shit is not up and running. Like you need to download the app. Luckily, I had already downloaded the app and I just needed to like set up my account and buy the ticket. So I'm on the bus setting up my account, buying the ticket, all that. Mind you, <laughs> the ride was only supposed to be six minutes. Like I was only going a couple of stops. So <laughs> I'm doing this, buying the ticket. And then I like buy the ticket, scan it, whatever. And then I check my phone, I pass my bus stop. So I'm like, fuck, I need to get off. So I'm trying to get off and I can't figure the fuck out about how to like get off the bus. I can't figure out. Cause in London, it's like the bus has a little, oh wait, stop, look how cute it is. It's really pretty here. Anyways, oh, there's a guy fishing. Um, so I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, how do I stop this bus? And I finally figure it out. And at this point, I'm like three stops or like four stops like past where I'm supposed to be. So I'm like, fuck, let me get off. So I get off and I just start like, I read mouth and then it's like, oh, you have to like cross the street, do this, whatever, whatever, whatever. And so I'm walking and I'm trying to, I don't know what the word is, but. Sorry, I feel like it's mad loud because I'm literally on the side of the road. But I'm like trying to freaking wait. Let me take a video for my Instagram. Give me two seconds. I'll be back. Anyways, so I'm trying to like figure out how to get something to drink because at this point, like, I was gonna bring my water with me, but the the water fountain at my um in my building, like the water comes out and it's filtered and it tastes fine, but it's not cold. And anybody who knows me knows that I always say that the flavor of water is its temperature. Like I feel like I prefer water that's cold. I'm not gonna drink hot water. And so I was just like low key irritated because I was just like, <laughs> I don't know, I was very much, I'm just gonna go. Anyways, I was very much irritated because I was just like, I wish I had brought my water, but the water wasn't cold, so I just put, I filled up my water bottle and put it in my fridge. Anyways, so I'm doing all that, trying to find somewhere to drink, and I spot a gas station. So I'm like, okay, gas station. Let me make it to the gas station. I start, let me just wait for the light. Let me not, let me not be jaywalking and talking. Um, I start um, going towards the gas station, but as I get closer, I'm realizing that it's like a fucking, like, it doesn't have like a, what do they call it? Like a convenience store attached to it. It has like some sort of like garage attached to it. Like they fix cars or whatever. 
So in New Jersey, I guess like somebody comes out and fills your tank, like you don't fill your own tank at the gas station. And so the guy's just sitting there and he's like, oh, where do you want to, like, what are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, I need a drink. Cause you can tell like he can't really, I don't want to say he can't speak English, but like you can tell that he has like a very thick accent and like he was kind of like miming like, oh, what do you want? So I'm like, oh, I just need a drink. And he's like, oh, you want to smoke? And he was like, there's a smoke shop right across the street. I'm like, no, I need a drink. And he keeps pointing to the smoke shop. So I kind of just like cross the street and like walk towards it. But then I see a Burger King next to it. So I'm like walking towards Burger King to get a drink. And then across the street, on the same side street I was on when I talked to the guy, there's a, um, what do you call it? A CVS. And I'm like, fuck, like I would prefer to go to the CVS because like I'm thirsty but I also don't want to like have to hold a drink. I'd rather get something that's bottled. Anyways, so I get something that's bottled. I said CVS, I went to CVS, bought my stuff, paid for it. Um, and everything's all good, right? And so I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting. So I, mm, okay, let me stop. So when I had navved to the five below again, I kind of realized like, oh, I'm on like the road. That's like a direct path to the five below. I just need to get on the bus cause it's like down, down, down the street. And so luckily my bus stop was right in front of the CVS. So it just made sense to go there instead of going to Burger King. Cause I was on the wrong side of the street if I went to Burger King. So I'm standing waiting for my bus and I have my headphones on. Cause I don't know, whenever I'm walking, I'm just like, I really, <laughs> I don't wanna say I wanna look unapproachable, but I don't wanna look approachable cause I'm by myself, I'm walking. I don't know this area very well. I don't know anyone here really, uh, besides like the people I work with. Um, it's the weekend, I'm not trying to bother anyone with anything. So even though like everyone's been super nice, accommodating, all that, all that. So, I'm just like, you know, trying to look a little hard body, a little, a little bit. And I can tell that this car has rolled down their window in front of me. Cause like coincidentally, the bus stop is right next to a light. And so this car stopped, they rolled down their window. And I can't really hear what they're saying, but I'm like, let me just ignore them. And then I'm like, wait, you know, let me just push my headphones back and see what they're talking about. So I push my headphones back a little bit. And the lady's trying to get my attention. She's like, I love your hair. Like, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Stink. Like, thank you, babe. I truly appreciate that. I'm sorry, like, this is so freaking pretty. Like, I'm gagged right now. Look at how pretty this is. Like, are you kidding me? Anyways, so, yeah. Basically, that was the moral of the story. Someone said my hair was cute. I just had a little adventure today and I was not planning on having that much of an adventure today. I just wanted to go to Five and buy some cute stuff. But I'm almost there. So I'm gonna stop talking so I'm like not out of breath when I get there, you know? Let's see.